Hi everyone, good morning, and it may look like an April Fool, but yes, there is a puzzle out there today. But the New York Times hard Sudoku, normally I start with row scanning, and there's nothing in the top three rows, it's a repeat digit. And as far as the middle three rows, all I get is a three in one of those two spots in row four, based on where they are in five and six. The bottom rows are going to be a little more forgiving. I've got two forms which allowed me, me to place a four in... Well, actually, four is placed in box seven. And then these two fives force a five one of those three in row nine. Uh, eight, three, nine, two otherwise, so I'm done. As far as the leftmost three columns, 9454382264, well, I just placed the four. 918473, so I'm done, and the rightmost. Okay, I can place a five in one of those in column eight. And a three actually right there in column nine, which allows me to place a three in one of those two. Okay, I have to look at crossings, and the bottom section is a good idea to do that. 4, 5, 9, 2, 3 are placed in box 9. So I have 4, 3 placed already, and a 5. 8 looks in here. So 8 must be one of those two cells. four also crosses in. Four in column five looks up, and four in row four looks over. So, these cells are taken. That means four is in one of those two, specifically, which means one of these two. I'm getting better at this technique only because I know how to look for it, because I've done enough of these puzzles. Okay, this three looks up, this three looks over, but that could still be three, so three has three spots in box one, which is annoying. Uh, nine looks up and over in box two, but unfortunately, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three spots. Let's see, there are four cells left in, in box nine. One, six, seven, eight. Uh, and those not being eight, we don't have much to go on. Three, four, five, eight, nine says I need one, two, six, and seven to fill out the row. Well, that is, that's interesting. Okay, I should have looked there. That can't be two, those can't be two, so I know where two goes in row eight. That puts a two in one of those two cells. This one, six, seven set is my first triple in the grid. Let me go mark that. Is there anything else with a bunch of digits? Not that I can see. Let's see, These cell, those two cells are quite restricted. They cannot be 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they are strictly from 1, 2, 5. So I need to watch to see, well, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I should have seen that too. All right, where does 5 go in the row? Five. It can't go there, and it can't go here, so it must go there. So, yeah, that one now sees everything from three through nine inclusive. It still is one or two. Well, that says six, that six must go in one of those cells. 
which kind of implies it goes in one of these cells. So the top row of box 5 will be 3, 6, and something to be determined. Three, five, seven, eight, nine are placed in row five. I need one, two, four, and six to fill out. That's now down to one or six. That one could be anything. That one could be anything. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so I need one, two, seven, eight, nine in box four. Either of those can be eight. So those are from one, two, seven, nine. That's one, two, seven, eight. That's one, seven, eight, or nine, because it can't be two. Okay, I've got eight in an offset pair. Hmm. Uh, column nine looks interesting because I have all the odd digits except one placed. I think they can be any of the evens if we just look by column and then we clean up the row. That's not six, that's not four. Well, that's two, one, two, and four. Let's see, none of those can be two, three, four, seven. These aren't three, five, or seven. Let's see, those aren't three or five. This is not going to be helpful. Uh, the rest of row one cannot be one, two, or four. Seven crosses a region, which is annoying. It's obvious everything else does. Let's see, those aren't two, four, nine. Ah, oh, these are seven. Neither of these are five or six. Those two aren't three by the row, that's not eight by the column. Neither is that, or three, and this one can't be five. Let's see, do I see anything obvious? Maybe. Those can't, uh, these two fives will force it there. Let's see, these aren't three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so they are from one, two, four, five. That's not two. That's not one or four. Hmm. And 
Yeah, okay, so four's there, and this is six, so six can't be in these. Those aren't four. Okay, those are not four, five, seven, eight, nine. So those are from one, two, three, and six. I get nothing useful out of it though. As expected. Uh, this is gonna be way too much. Okay, what about these? These aren't two, three, four, five. These aren't two, three, four. Okay, those are not two, three, four. Five or eight. Okay, there's two thirds of another one, six, seven. Do I get one here? I don't think I do, because that one's not restricted enough. Those strictly are not four, five, eight. Only nine, three, six, and two. So now we've done that. This one could be literally anything except one. None of these are three or nine. None of those are seven. Okay. This isn't two, that's not nine. Neither of these are four or eight. This isn't seven and that's not three. Two thirds of one six seven here and here. I just don't have the third digit now. Those aren't eight, so that that's not eight. No, that's not eight. That's not eight. That's not eight. There, nothing else in the row is five or a box. Two and three are removed successfully. Eight, yeah, that's obvious. Three, six are out from the row. Four is out from the row, I think. That's interesting. I've got two in an offset pair. 
situation, but that doesn't help me either. Certainly not that I can see, not immediately anyway. Yeah, there's got to be something else I'm doing that I'm not seeing because I have way too many possibilities for a lot of these digits. As long as the grid is that mumbled, sometimes like my voice, I'm going to have a really hard time trying to figure it out. Oh, well, I, wait a minute. Okay, these can't be 4, and those can't be 4 either, so 4 is in the same spot. Now, we already proved that these can't be 2, and these can't be 2, so 2 and 4 are actually in the same 2 spots. So this is a hidden 2-4 pair. I feel compelled to mark that. puts one in one of these two, and that will place the six, because that one can't be one. Now, those are not, definitely not six. This is left as one, two, four, and that's a triple. I've got seven in an offset pair like that. This could still be five, which is annoying. Um, but that's not six. Okay, one seven. We'll place that six. So these two aren't. Six places nine. Those two are not nine. This is now a one five eight triple. That means that can't be 1, so that's 7, which forces this one to be 9, because it can't be 1 or 8. This is now a 1, 8. Down here, and therefore that one isn't 1, or 9, because I just place it. One five eight places that as a 6. So these aren't six, not six or nine. Okay, five to eight means this is three or seven, as is that. Love this. So I've got two thirds of a one, two, four, and then a one, two, eight in box six. How exactly does that is that supposed to work? Yeah, I don't have anything useful for column nine, do I? But I can get rid of the corner marks from there. See, these aren't nine. Uh, this could still be two, so I can't really eliminate much from there, but seven makes that one. So there's a whole bunch of things that aren't one in box seven and column three. Okay, seven, eight pair resolves the three. And the 9. 
Now, that's a 6, 7, which means that's 2, that's 3. These aren't 9. Okay, 6, 7. I mean, none of those are 6 or 7. And that's not 6. Three in column one. We'll place the seven and the three. And then the seven in box one. We'll place the eight and the seven. Which will place the eight by corner marks. That can't be two or seven, so that's one, two, nine, six, seven, one. This is down to five or six. Okay, that can't be three, so that one is. That's six. That's forced to be a two. Five. Okay, not two or five, not five. One or four means that's not one. Seven, eight, wait a minute. Okay, eight, place two and then seven in that order. So I can remove the corner fours. That's down to a one, four. That can't be one or two. That's an eight. Four, two. Four places one and four. Eight, not one, five, eight, and column eight resolves the one. Let's see. Neither of those are four or eight. Not six, not five, not two. Okay, five, six pair resolves that one as seven. This one as a two. That's not two, three, five. Not three or six. Not it still could be five. It's not two. Okay, I've got four one of these. Those fours don't do any good. Okay, this one can't be six or seven by column logic. One eight pair there. Thanks. That's six. That's seven. That's a nine. So this isn't. I love that that one five eight triple isn't resolved. Oh boy. But the nine in column five will finally resolve the six. Five, six, five, eight, five, eight, four, nine, one, eight, five, one, eight, yeah, eight, one, four. And there we go. Yeah, that hidden two four pair was absolutely crucial. But once I discovered that, everything else collapsed relatively fast. Well, this wasn't terrible. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.